it's tuesday 17th november 2020 welcome to my channel welcome to news trail i am adetola coyote you're welcome it's time for the private sector and the international community, partners and friends of the Center of Excellence to join hands to rebuild and reconstruct Lagos after the wanton destruction that followed the NSAS protest. Vice President Yemio Shibajo made this call at the formal inauguration of the team spearheading the Rebuild Lagos project, emphasizing the need for emotional healing. Governor Babajide Sangwolu, who catalogued the destruction that ravaged the state, revealed that what the state lost is in the tune of tens of trillions of Naira. He also made a passionate appeal to the National Assembly to consider Lagos as it reviews the 2021 appropriation bill. Other dignitaries present at the event include Speaker, House of Representatives Femi Bajabi Amila, Captains of Industry and other politicians. The federal government has been asked to declare a state of emergency in the downstream petroleum sector to stall the rising price of petrol. The organized labor made this call while reacting to the recent increase in fuel pump price, suggesting solutions to the topsy-turvy situation in the sector. Labor says contractual agreement with refineries in the country can help reduce freight costs. NLC President Ayuba Wabara says the recent increase negates the last negotiations labor had with government. Meanwhile, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Per Silva, says Nigerians will get used to deregulation of the pump price of petroleum products as it has become the only solution in bearing the nation's economic challenges. The United States President-elect Joe Biden has warned that many more people may die if proper coordination is not employed in tackling COVID-19. Speaking in Delaware, Biden says President Trump's refusal to acknowledge the lost vote despite calls to do so from both sides is totally irresponsible. Meanwhile, former First Lady Michelle Obama on social media wrote, This is not a game. President-elect Joe Biden surpassed the 270 votes needed to win at the Electoral College, having polled 306 votes. And that's it. Thank you for connecting with Neustral. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aditola Coyote. Remember, worry gives small things a big shadow. Worry less. Have a terrific day.